Zexian here. Uh, yeah, about last time. That, that, that didn't happen. All right, we're just, we're just gonna pretend that last thing never happened, and I will never go into Vexen's lab without him around ever again. Ever. I managed to find a cure for what had afflicted me before, and, um, there's some really strange side effects with this. Have, have you ever noticed how sexy Zigbar's voice can be? Especially when he's drunk. And, um... You know, forget I said that, and... There's just something about Axel. I... He's really, really hot in many different ways. That, that, that doesn't mean I'm stroking your ego or anything, Axel. It just means you, you do have some sort of flair that others can find irresistible. But I don't. No, no. I, I... <coughs> um... So, uh, what I was going to talk about today was going to be about the Keyblades, right? Yes, Keyblades. Let me find the notes I've taken. First off, some of the... one of the normal questions people are wondering is how many Keyblades are there? Well, in fact, the number of Keyblades is infinite because each world has Keyblades assigned to it, so therefore finding each and every Keyblade that could exist would be, in fact, impossible. Wielders of Keyblades and what it takes to be one. Now, people may think Sora may be the only one that he can wield it. Oh, he's so special. No, he's not. In fact, he's just a special individual. Roxas could wield a Keyblade, but that's because he was part of Sora, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. Riku wields one of a sort. And in a time, there were a precise type of being called Keyblade Masters and Wielders. So you would think that many, many people could wield them. It just took a certain kind of finesse to wield a Keyblade. Actually, pretty much, it just took a very strong heart. As in very strong will, you felt very strongly about one thing or another. So in essentiality, somebody could be evil and want to destroy everything and be able to wield a Keyblade. Why? Because they feel strongly that everything should be destroyed and actually have a reasoning behind why everything should be destroyed. Keyblades for worlds. Each world has hidden keyblades inside of it. Each world has keyholes and powers within the very center of it itself. These powers are crystallized and solidified into the weapons known as keyblades. Now, some worlds may have only one keyblade to represent their heart, while others may have a few representing different facets of them. Do -do. Properties of Keyblades, what they can do. Well, first off, they can destroy Heartless and Nobodies. They hurt a lot. They are extremely powerful. They can unlock places that were previously locked. They can unlock people's hearts. They can lock people's hearts. They can transfer emotions, memories, to something else. In fact, it depends on the Keyblade you have as to what it can do. Different world's Keyblades have different things they can do. Ultima Keyblade versus the Kingdom Key. Now, Ultima Keyblade is supposedly one of the most powerful Keyblades out there, but yet the Kingdom Key seems to be treated as the all-holy everything. Sora was given the Kingdom Key, which essentially allows him to go anywhere and unlock anything. And it works as a basic weapon, too, to be able to fight beings such as myself and Heartless. Now, the Ultima Keyblade can do the exact same thing. However, the Ultima Keyblade takes a lot more will to use, because it, in fact, has hidden powers locked inside of it that it takes very strong-willed and powerful individuals to wield due to such. The Kingdom Key is a twin of sorts of the King of whatever, King Mickey. 
He has one just like Sora's, however, his is gold and Sora's is silver. I never got to completely research King Mickey's Keyblade Key, but I got enough research on Sora's merely because Roxas well wielded it for a while. Now, what would you say would be better? The Kingdom Key or Ultima? Well, I would say Ultima because Ultima has the same effects as the Kingdom Key, except it gives it more power tenfold. However, the Kingdom Key is one of the most picky out of all of the keys. It chooses only the most... It, it, it chooses the person the most purest of heart, in a way. Or one that is supposedly to be Great Destiny. Right, we're gonna move on before Sora gets an inflated ego. We don't need that. Gummy ships versus old style Keyblade transport. Gummy ships are interesting, kind of derptastic, and the old Keyblade style things, from what I've researched, were pretty interesting, actually. The Keyblades from back then could apparently do many more things than the Keyblades can now. It's almost like they kind of degraded. Or maybe it's just the wielder degraded. Now, the Keyblades from back then could transport their users through space, such as the gummy ships do now. We, of course, don't need those things. We can just go through the corridors of darkness. Bam! Instant teleportation. Magic with key keyblades. Now, if you wield a keyblade, does that mean you can wield magic? No. You actually have to learn. The keyblades merely just you act as a focus, like a wand, per se. You have a keyblade, and bam, you have a wand. Wand. A focus. Such as, we can use magic and such without having those things. We just focus and cast the spell. What the Keyblade wielder will have to do is focus through this and cast the spell from it. Just kind of a weakness if you ask me. If you lose the Keyblade, you lose your power. How to wield a Keyblade. Hmm. I already went over that. You need a very, very strong will and to believe very strongly in one thing or another, or even in some instances be chosen by the world. Now, none of this has happened within our generation, but I have done research into past things and the old Keyblade Wars of sorts, and come up with some very, very interesting data that occasionally a, a person that has no purpose whatsoever was randomly chosen because they were favored by the world and given a Keyblade that would act as a guidepost, in a way, to their purpose. Heart versus soul with wielding. Is it possible for nobody to wield one? Yes and no. Yes, it's possible for nobody to wield one, in theory, merely because of belief, with the whole thing of the strong enough will. Now, however, it takes emotions to fully unlock the Keyblades, which we, of course, are lacking. However, if we believe hard enough that we have those emotions, the Keyblade could possibly be fooled into believing we do. As some of the members are misled themselves. The heart, well, we already know with that, just look at Sora. You've got all the examples you need there for heart-wielding Keyblade. Experimentation with replicas and Keyblades are possible due to Vexen's experiments and I've cataloged each and every detail of everything that's happened with those quite thoroughly and they're all very very fascinating but unfortunately for you it's confidential and I don't really feel like picking on Shion at the moment so I'm not even going to get into that one. Unawakened Keyblades. Now this is my favorite. I came across a world one day that had this sword in the stone kind of thing feel to it, where there was a keyblade embedded into something, and of course, you know, I went to go investigate it. It, I was able to pull it out, but it had no power. It was pretty much just a piece of metal. This is what we would call an unawakened keyblade, one that can be handled by anybody, but it's nothing more than a blunt weapon. 
Those kinds of keyblades are ones that have either lost power through being too attached to the wielder, or hasn't been haven't been given power from the planet itself, or have become redundant. Those are rare, but easy to find. Now, if you go to a place called the Keyblade Graveyard, you can find many of those unawakened keyblades. However, if they were to ever awaken, well, let's just say I'm working on that. That is all I have to say on Keyblades today. Um, if you're wondering about my opinion on all the gossip that's going around, well, I can just say this. I'm not in the castle, so I don't really care. Now, if I was in the castle and saw pink everywhere, I think I'd be a little more concerned. My, this, this room isn't pink. Your, your eyes are lying to you. As for Xemnas, it's, it's really wonderful to know where the money that we gift you goes to. At least you didn't waste much of mine.